Given a transfer function, how to represent that system in model canonical form? That's what we're going to do in this video. So in this case, for this example transfer function, the numerator polynomial order m is 3 and denominator polynomial order is also 3. In this case where m is n, this is a special case because usually control systems, the denominator polynomial order is usually greater than the numerator polynomial order. But in this case, they're equal. So the first step to do is when m is equal to n, we need to first divide the numerator with the denominator with, we have the numerator polynomial. Now, s cube, s cube can be canceled only when we multiply this with one. So I'm taking one times. So I have s cube plus nine s square plus 23 s plus 15. I can write this as 3s square plus 21s plus 33. So this transfer function can be rewritten as 1 plus 3s square plus 21s plus 33 over s cube plus 9s square plus 23s plus 15. Now for the this second term, we need to find the partial fraction form. So I can rewrite this further as a over the root. So before we find partial fractions, we need the roots of this denominator polynomial here. So I can write this s cube plus 9s square plus 23s plus 15 in terms of roots, which is s plus 1 times s plus 3 times s plus 5. Because I already know the roots of this polynomial, that's how I have written this. In your case, if you have a different problem, you need to find the roots of the denominator polynomial. So I can write a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 3 plus c over s plus 5. Now we need to find the values of a, b and c coefficients, which are partial fraction coefficients. a can be written as limit s tends to minus 1 s plus 1 times this second term here where s plus 1, s plus 1 cancel and we can write this as at s is equal to minus 1 this value will be, if we compute, we will get it to be 15 over 8 and similarly b can be computed by limit s tends to minus 3 s plus 3 times the same function here which will be equal to 3s square plus 21s plus 33 over s plus 1 times s plus 5 where s is equal to minus 3. So then we get a value of 3 by 4. Similarly if we compute the value for c we will get 3 over 8. Having known the values of a, b and c we can rewrite this transfer function as 1 plus 15 over 8 by s plus 1 plus b is 3 over 4 by s plus 3 plus 3 over 8 over s plus 5. Now let me take an example where the transfer function let's say is 1 over s plus a. This can be represented as 1 over s divided by 1 plus a times 1 over s. This can be represented in terms of block diagram like this. 1 over s is the forward transfer function which is g of s and the feedback path we have magnitude a and it is negative feedback so the transfer function will be g of s divided by 1 plus g of s times h of s. So we will get 1 over s plus a which means if we have a transfer function like this we can represent it as block diagram in this form. Or else equivalently if you want to represent this in signal flow graph you can do so as well with like 1 over s and this is the output variable and there is a feedback which is minus a. So these two are equivalent except that the above one is in block diagram below one is in signal flow graph. We'll use this concept to represent the system in model canonical form. We can rewrite this transfer function as y of s is equal to taking this, this side of equation, we can send u of s there, we'll have u of s 
plus 15 over 8 by s plus 1 times u of s plus 3 over 4 by s plus 3 times u of s plus 3 over 8 by s plus 5 times u of s. Now let us represent this in terms of a block diagram. And similarly, you can convert the block diagram to signal flow graph if you're interested in signal flow graph. Y of S, let's say, is here, which will be sum of these four terms. So the first term would be nothing but U of S, the input itself directly coming there. So as we need to add all of them, we'll put a summation point here. So first input directly comes with a magnitude multiplication of one. It comes directly to the input of it summation block. Now the second one which takes the u of s as input and we have a block which is 1 over s plus 1 times 15 by 8. So we know how to represent 1 over s plus a where a is 1 we can write it as 1 over s and I'm taking the feedback here negative feedback here we have magnitude 1 because the root here minus 1 so it is negative feedback with 1. This value should be added to this summation block. But of course with a magnitude, the magnitude is 15 over 8. So let me put 15 over 8 block. Now the third term. So u of s comes here as the input to another summation block where it is with the negative feedback 1 over s and the feedback, the value here is 3. So I'll have in feedback loop three value and we have a constant 3 by 4 multiplication here so we get 3 over 4 multiplication and then the signal will be added here and now the last term so u of s comes here and another negative feedback 1 over s and feedback here I'll have 5 value and the magnitude here we have the coefficient 3 over 8 this will be added to the summation block all plus symbols because all the coefficients that we have are plus now y of s can be said as u of s plus 15 over 8 times 1 over s plus 1 times u of s plus 3 by 4 times 1 by s plus 3 times u of s plus 3 by 8 times 1 over s plus 5 times u of s so this is how we represent. Now, if you're interested in signal flow graphs, just find the equivalent of it. Now, having known the block diagram, now how do we represent them in these forms? X dot is equal to A times X plus B times U and output equation C times X plus D times U. So in order to do that, here is the procedure. First thing is take state variables here I'm taking one state variable called x1. So the integrator input would be x1 dot. So here the second state variable which is x2 and input of integrator will be x2 dot. So that if you integrate x2 dot you'll get x2. And again here I'll take x3 and input of integrator is x3 dot. So now let us write the expressions. So x1 dot is equal to if you see here we're getting u minus x1 is equal to x1 dot so we write u minus x1 is x1 dot now x2 dot is u minus 3 times x2 so x2 dot is u minus 3 x2 now similarly x3 u minus 5 times x3. x3 dot is equal to u minus 5 times x3. Now the output expression can be written as y is equal to u plus 15 by 8 times x1. x1 times 15 by 8 plus 3 by 4 times x2 plus 3 by 8 times x3. So now we have all the four equations, represent them in these forms. Now let me write them in the standard forms x1 dot, x2 dot, 
x3 dot is equal to the matrix A which will be 3 by 3 order because the system order is 3 and we have x1, x2, x3 plus matrix B times U and we have output expression Y is equal to matrix C which is 1 cross 3 times x1, x2, x3 plus matrix D times U and this 3 by 3 matrix is A. Now x1 dot is equal to minus x1 and it doesn't depend on x2 and x3 so 0, 0. It depends on U with 1. So we can write x1 dot as minus x1 plus 0 times x2 plus 0 times x3 plus 1 times u. And that's what x1 dot represents here. Now x2 dot. x2 dot is minus 3 times x2 1 times u. So rest all 0. Now x3 dot is minus 5 times x3 and 1 times u. Now we have zeros in other places. Now the output expression y in terms of x1 is 15 over 8 in terms of x2 3 by 4 in terms of x3 3 by 8 and in terms of u it's 1. So this is how we represent a given transfer function into model canonical form and it is also called a diagonal canonical form because the matrix that you get at the end the system matrix A will be in diagonal form. If you observe carefully, the values you see here are actually the roots of the denominator polynomial, which are also the poles of the system.